This is about arrows. And the philosophy behind what arrow shafting you're going to use. Now think of this as an investment in time or, or resources, expense, money, anything. There is an investment in each arrow. If you're going after larger game, like a deer-sized animal or larger, if you break an arrow shaft, that is reasonable. If you break an arrow shaft, hitting more than 50 pounds of meat, acceptable losses. If you're going for smaller game, you're going to be using a blunt, a judo point. As in the case of these, a cartridge, a firearm cartridge, it's going to receive a, luff, uh, a, more, a much rougher life and one life per arrow, if it's a squirrel, is not a good trade-off. So in that case, I probably wouldn't go for Port Orford for a squirrel size or a rabbit size creature or a bird hunting. I've bird hunted before with arrows. I'd go for a tougher shaft because it's going to be hitting stuff. It's going to be used over and over um, because balancing the amount of meat for the resources of one arrow, it, it starts offsetting itself when you're going for smaller game. So you know, not only can I break Port Orford on my frozen hay bale of doom, the camera's sitting on a frozen hay bale, a frozen, like an ice cube, you know that it's rough. In fact, the last time I was out here shooting, I shattered, I shattered a poplar shaft arrow. A, a hardwood, not the hardest of woods, but a hardwood shaft shattered on, upon re-entry with the earth. And so, my friends, two arrows, and I'm just going to show you them. Cane, river cane shaft, not bamboo, but river cane. Fletch nicely when I'm looking at these things. Nice, even spiral on these. And, and smooth up here, which I'm going to judge because I'm going to shoot them off my hand. Made by Derek. His Facebook page is Derek's Primitive Missiles. Derek's Primitive Missiles. I'll put that in the description. And so, young Derek, I am looking at your arrows. And I am very impressed. These things don't come from the ground straight. And he was able to create dead straight arrows out of the river cane. Beautiful job. Beautiful fletching. Nice grooves. He asked me, you know, what size string I use. And I use 12 strand B50, which is perfectly strong. And with my revert two-ply reverse twist, gives enough bounce so it's not going to damage the bow. Um, he made his... The, the knocks right there, the little groovy things, small enough for for my 12-strand strings. Okay, and then he also, a bonus, I like that. And I've done this in the past, and I respect him and like what he did here. I'll just throw my, my glove is on the ground because I'm not going to be using them. A bonus. He didn't ask for it, but he threw it in here just to be a nice guy. And I don't know if you can see this because it's made out of glass. He also does... Fine work with arrowheads. It's beautiful. Um, made out of glass. I'm going to have to force myself to hold things longer. And so that is that. He also showed me a picture of a bow that he made. <laughs> and I have to say it was a beautiful, um, a D-like D bow. You know, a, a simple flat bow. Beautiful. Recurved. And the, um, gosh, I... Believe me, I know this. What the heck do you call the ends, the tips, the bow tips? Were carved. One end had this gentleman's face in it, artfully created. Another one had a fish. <clears throat> and then he used some kind of copper things for the eyes. Beautiful. Anyway, let's get let's get to the business. I'm using my um my own personal PB, my paddle bow of doom, and it's strong enough to like shatter arrows. Let's see if Eric's of Eric's primitive missiles. I'm gonna few volleys. Let's see if I can break these things. Close range. I don't know what poundage this bow is. It's probably about 55. Oh, let's see here. My eyesight is so funny. Wow. Nicely made. Holds on there. Short range. So it's going to have as much abuse upon the arrow shaft. Look at that. With blunts, it drove it right into the frozen hay bale. Do, do, do. Hope I can pull them out. No damage. Broke poplar shaft. 
did not even fade Derek's, Derek's primitive missiles. Let's give it another. Into the ice cube of hay. Derek, my friend, I have to say that the fletching job you did feels really good as it gl it feels really good when it glides off over my hand. Nice. No scrapes or anything. Beautiful. Into frozen hay bales. Still straight, unbroken. I have to give it a thumbs up. Derek's primitive missiles. And think about that. When you are picking an arrow shafting, what is your intended purpose? If it's for a deer sized animal where you can afford, big deal, you know, I just broke an arrow, but because it was sticking out the side and it was flopping in the trees. It happens. You don't usually count on your arrow being shot again with that. Small game, target shooting, I am impressed. These things held up well. And I don't need to be gentle with them. I told Derek I was gonna like torture test them. Nice arrows. Now I have a surprise, a bonus. Hey, Jerry, I hope you're watching. Jerry of Turtle Bow fame. Check this out. What is this mysterious bow I am holding in my hands? Got my little turtle thing here. This is yellow, so it's going to be hard to show up, but there is that. The, the rawhide as it dried brought it into a little bit of reflex. Good deal. Have a great one and definitely nice arrows, Derek. Nice arrows. Felt beautiful going over my hand. Didn't phase them whatsoever shooting into that frozen hay bale. All is good.